Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Uh, we do see that the opposition have got questions that uh, they need answers to, and we're here to provide those answers. Um, firstly, we see that the opposition patriotic front is asking that uh, the president should constitute a commission of inquiry to find out yeah, in the uh, northern, eastern, and uh, the southern zones of Africa and neighboring countries. The Opposition also wants to know how Zambia, that was a food secure and had enough maize stock, uh, no longer has maize. I think you want to make it very clear that the country remains food secure and we have enough maize stock. And I want to take a bit of time here to just um, um, inform the nation exactly where we are in terms of the stocks of maize the quantities and in terms of percentage. So out of 100% of 343,965 metric tons of maize, we have the Eastern Province which is holding 126,068 uh, 126, metric tons of maize at 37%. Southern Province, 116,959 metric tons of maize at 34%. Northwestern Province, 47,278 at 14%. Other provinces combined are holding 53,660 at 16%. The total that uh, uh, FRI is sitting on as of 6th April is 343,965 metric tons of maize. So the country remains food secure and we have the maize and it is there. And uh, what is happening now is that we are moving the maize to the main depots, that, that the one that is in the satellite depots is moving to the main depots, like the one that is in northwestern and western province is being moved with the help of the Zambia Defense Forces. And this is the military wing to move it to the main depots. And the one that is already in the main depots in eastern, southern, and so on is being moved to Lusaka so that it is in turn uh, moved into the copper belt because that's where the problem is. So we are moving quite a good number of the 95,000 metric tons that was issued. And this was issued 65,000 metric tons last week and another 30,000 metric tons this week. Uh, the 95,000 metric tons, the majority of it is going to the copper belt. And the one that is in the eastern, southern and so on is being brought into Lusaka and various transporters have been engaged, including the Zambia Railways, to move the, uh, the maize into Lusaka to make it easier to distribute to the mirrors out there. So the country is not only food secure, but the maize is, st is still there with us and in our hands as a government. So in terms of food security, the country remains safe. But is threatened by the scourge of smuggling that is going on. The scourge of smuggling, uh, smuggling also is being uh, is being fought head on, and I want to take the opportunity to warn the people involved in smuggling and those that may intend to get themselves involved in smuggling that it is not profitable at all, because once you are caught up. Not only will you lose your contraband, but also you lose the vessel that you are using to transport the same. You also lose the property that you may have used to stock the same if it is found in a property, a garage, a residence or anything like that. All that gets profited to the state. But not only that, you get prosecuted and you end up in prison. So you lose your money, you lose your property, you lose your vehicles and you end up in prison. I repeat, it is not worth it. Stop it. So to answer the opposition, to answer the concerns of the Patriotic Front or Mr. Given Rubinda, 
is that the country has not run out of maize, it still has maize. He also wants to find out, um, what was the third thing you wanted to find out? The yes, so there is clearly from the above, it is uh, therefore noted that there is no need to put in place a commission of inquiry because what is exacerbating the shortage of milibu on the market is as a result of the illegal smuggling of the commodity because then greedy and unscrupulous people who are masquerading as business people are buying off the milibu on the market with a view to try and smuggle it but have you, you have seen we are hammering the smugglers and therefore we do expect that this uh, idea of wanting to smuggle will reduce but the appetite of uh, the commodity of milling you outside there in the neighboring markets will remain high to avert that the government has also allowed that the private sector should be able to bring in milling from wherever whichever country they can bring it in from duty free and they can in turn export it so they import it to, ex to export it this si number 10 of 2023 signed yesterday is meant to encourage our traders to be able to bring in mini milk and export it so it is mainly uh, meant for the encouragement of our traders to continue to satisfy the yawning market of mini milk out there but instead of uh, smuggling our own mini milk we have encouraged them to bring in mini milk from any other country and take it to any market that they want but they must seek uh, their payments from the government, they must seek their payments from the Ministry of Agriculture, the Ministry of Health, everyone is on, on deck and this, the permits are being given expeditiously and therefore you are able to bring in your goods and you are able to export them without any further delay. So we are encouraging you to take opportunity or advantage of this opportunity and this window period because the SI number 10 is not going to be perpetual. There will be a time as government continues to monitor the situation and if it improves as we envision, there will be a time that will no longer allow the imports of maize to come into the country. It is not going to be perpetual. And also, uh, it is also felt that the decision to import the milk is going to hurt the millers in our country. Far from the truth, the millers will continue to mill. The problem that the millers in our country have had is that they've not been able to access the milk from FRA. And this is what we are making sure that we bring in the, the, the maize so that they are able to access the maize from FRA and continue to mill so that they are able to satisfy the local market. But also, it is important for them to know the opposition that even these decisions and measures that we're employing as government are as a result of consultative meetings that include also mirrors as part of the consultative processes and they are aware of why we ended up with uh, special instrument number 10 and they are in full support and they know exactly what is going on and therefore they see that there is no problem and it is not meant to harm them but actually it is meant to assist so that we quickly move out of this seasonal period or seasonal problem. We are also being told that uh, this is the first time this is happening in the country and uh, therefore we must uh, ensure that a, 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 a commission of inquiry is instituted. It's not the first time they had this problem even in their time. They didn't institute the commission of inquiry. And uh, the only thing that is the first time right now is the fact that uh, we have handled this situation and problem differently from how they handled it. For them, 
we saw provincial ministers going in supermarkets beating up people and so on and closing the borders we won't close the borders won't beat up anybody but what we do is we employ measures that at the end of the day we ensure that our zambians especially those that do business legally continue to do the business and profit while we avert the situation of hitting a critical shortage or getting into a crisis in the country so yes we are seeing this for the first time because this is the first time a government has been able to handle this crisis with this kind of attention this is exactly what we faced when we were in trouble with blood shedding this is exactly what we faced but even that was envisioned to be a problem that would take us months on end but within days it was sorted out i can assure the nation that even this smuggling this shortage artificial shortage of men on the market within days to within weeks it will be sorted out and we will revert to normal this is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.